like and subscribe, and you'll have amazing luck for the rest of the week. Hello everyone. I know not everyone in here would believe that portals to another world actually exist. It's only in the movies that you'll find people wishing that they could have to go through such portals. I mean, everyone would love such a new and terrifying experience, right? However, it's true that there are some portals that do exist on the globe that are believed to lead to some other unknown reality. If you want to find out, stick around as I begin the countdown. Number 10. The Darvaza Crater in Turkmenistan is still on fire. What if you could see how hell burns? It'll most certainly make you not want to ever set foot in there. 150 miles north of Turkmenistan's capital, Ashgabat, there exists a portal that's thought to be the door to hell. All this began in 1971, when the Soviet gas drilling operation went wrong. The ground beneath the drill rig unfortunately collapsed inwards, creating a 70-foot deep hole. In an effort to prevent the spread of methane gas, Soviet scientists decided to light a fire to burn it all away. Well, let's just say that was the best idea they had during the time. Unfortunately, their plan failed once more, and the hole has remained open to this day. Basically, that's over two decades. This is enough to qualify as the famously chanted name, the door to hell. Although some scientists believe that it was their mistake since they underestimated the amount of methane gas that lay below, some believe that this has a much greater meaning than just a hole burning off methane gas. Interesting, right? Don't hesitate to let me know your thoughts about this mysterious Darvaza crater. Could it be real or the door to hell? Number 9. Stonehenge Somewhere around Salisbury in England lies this English heritage called Stonehenge. The name sort of speaks for itself. As we can see, the site is made up of a disorienting collection of stone uprights, some of which are capped with lintels, along with their fallen compatriots all contained within a low, circular earthwork. A lot of things about this 5,000-year-old monument just don't make sense to many. For starters, how do you move a 25-ton to build such an epic scene? Well, some believe that this was Merlin's idea, but he got help from giants moving the stones. Some believe that it's just normal human beings at work, and that it could have taken them at least a thousand years. Numerous burial mounds, a sizable home of the dead, 17 ritual monuments, as well as hints of a putative procession path around Stonehenge itself are among the discoveries. There's also proof of a mile-long superhenge in the area called Dorrington Walls, which was formerly flanked by up to 60 enormous stone or timber columns, some of which may still be buried beneath the ground. Additionally, the rocks are also called ring rocks. This is a peculiar acoustic quality of the monument stones, which when struck, make a loud clanging sound, probably explaining why someone bothered to move them in such a great distance. Such rocks were thought to have therapeutic properties in some prehistoric culture. A lot still to be discovered about Stonehenge, especially now that no one ever claimed to build it. I mean, it's only fair because I don't think anyone could take 1,000 years to tell that story. Number 8. The Vortex Sedona in Arizona Sedona is so much more than what first meets the eye. Its heart of healing beats beneath the boundless beauty. It resembles an open-air cathedral and almost looks like a partially assembled Stonehenge. However, people don't just visit the place because it has a beautiful view from up there. They visit from all over the world to experience the alleged ethereal cosmic energies that come from the red rocks. Sedona has a long history of being revered as a holy and mighty collection. They arrive looking for the vortexes. Sedona is well known for its vortex sites, places where the energy of the Earth is said to be amplified, causing self-awareness and other forms of healing. Consider them as waterless spiritual hot tubs. The spinning energy centers are known as Sedona vortexes, and they're said to be beneficial for meditation, self-discovery, and healing. In certain areas, the Earth seems especially vibrant and alive. Although Sedona is thought of a vortex throughout, there are particular places where the energy is stronger. The four most well-known Sedona vortexes may be located in Boynton Canyon, Cathedral Rock, Airport Mesa, and Bell Rock, each of which emits distinctive energy. Some are supposed to produce energy that spirals downward and enters the Earth, while others are thought to produce energy that flows upward. Basically, the Vortex of Sedona has the power to change people's lives. That's its real strength. The pure physical beauty of the landscape spontaneously recalibrates your feelings of awe. I think it's time to accept the extraordinary 
and embrace the amazing. This location does so much more than just inspire. It also renews, uplifts, calms, and heals. For many, simply being present here causes a spiritual awakening. It's also believed that nobody ever departs Sedona untransformed. The journey here is unquestionably worthwhile. Number 7. The Gate of the Gods, Peru Peru is well known for its countless ancient ruins. The Gate of the Gods, also known as the Amaru Moro, is thought to be the gateway to the afterlife. You see, the Incans believed that Lake Titicaca was the birthplace of the planet. Additionally, it was the location where their spirits would go after they died. The lake was essentially a combination of heaven and the Garden of Eden. After the Incan civilization, the structure still remained intact. If you tour here, you'll find a huge door-like structure made from the Hayumarka Mountains. The door measures 7 meters in width and height, and there is a smaller recess about 2 meters high in the middle of the base of the entrance. There's a little round depression cut into the wall in the center of that recess. Typically, an adult could squeeze into the entryway. According to ancient myths, individuals use the portal to enter space. Although its paranormal properties have not been verified by science, Amoromuro could be categorized as a magical artifact. The location is a well-liked haunt for spooky pilgrimages. Until scientists prove otherwise, I think this door has definitely been there for a reason. Number 6. Alaska, Bermuda Triangle Yeah, you must have heard about alien existence and unsolved mysteries before. But the Bermuda Triangle, famously known as the Devil's Triangle, is something else. There have been so many unexplained plane disappearances and ships. It's almost like they just vanished into thin air, never to be found again. You might be wondering how this all happens. Actually, nobody knows. All that's known is that the moment people get to the Bermuda Triangle, they disappear. This occurrence has had so many questions about where they go. In fact, sometimes there's not even a single shred of wreckage. The only explanation left is that maybe there's a door to a mirror universe. The Devil's Triangle is actually the scariest point on Earth, because it's believed to take over 16,000 people with it and countless vessels. If it's not a portal to the beyond, I think scientists owe us a solid explanation of what's really happening. Number 5. Gate of the Sun for years, this Bolivian Gate of the Sun has puzzled a lot of scientists. The Gate of the Sun in Tawanaku, Bolivia, is curved from a block of andesite stone with a 2.8 meter high and 3.8 meter wide gate. On top of it are carvings of about 48 winged demons or angels, depending on what you choose to call them, wearing feathered headdresses set in rows. The main character is referred to as the Staff Deity, or Pan-Andean Deity, who predated Viracocha, the Inca creator god. The striations cut into the granite surrounding his face suggest that the figure could perhaps represent some sort of solar god. They speculate that these could be sun rays. Naturally, ancient astronaut theorists believe that instead of sun rays, this is a picture of the deity passing through some kind of portal to another world. The markings on his cheeks that resemble tears have earned the image the nickname Weeping God. The gate allowed access to the Kalasasea Holy Complex, another intrigue around the Gate of the Sun is that according to certain ancient astronaut theories, it's based on the idea that aliens from another planet visited Earth at different moments throughout history. They might have traveled to Tiahuanaco and helped build the Gate of the Sun Monument. Number 4. Stargate Ramasa Uyana, Anora Dapora, a sacred city of Sri Lanka, is an expected location to be involved in a spectacular story of UFOs and otherworldly occurrences. Something stranger resides in this hollowed city. This chart is located in Ranmasu Uyana, Goldenfish Park, a 40-acre-old urban park encircled by three Buddhist temples, and is said to contain the key to the universe's mysteries. The iconography of the chart is inconsistent with other Anadipura era carvings, despite the fact that little is known about it and its purpose. Seven concentric circles are arranged in the center of the graph and are separated by parallel vertical and horizontal lines. Small crossing circles are arranged in rectangular compartments. A kite, wavy lines, cylindrical shapes, and figures like umbrellas or bows and arrows can all be seen by inexperienced eyes. Marine life is represented by fish, turtles, and seahorses in the outer ring. The idea that a carving at Anaratipura, which resembles a chart, is a stargate, an ancient portal through which people can access the universe, has been widely circulated online in recent years. Incredible, right? Number 3. The Sky City Residents of the city of Foshan in Guangdong region of China 
were startled a few years ago when a floating city abruptly materialized in the skies above them. The phenomenon, which only lasted a few minutes, appeared to have skyscrapers and other structures suspended in the air. A similar incident apparently occurred in Jiangxi province a few days later. It's not a good idea to rule out the possibility that it occurred in two unrelated locations, despite the fact that many people were suggesting that it might have been a mirage that caused the projection itself. What else could it be if not a mirage? Perhaps it's a different Foshan city from a different world. In any case, this is only proof of a potential portal. Number 2. Hoya Baku Forest There's nothing scarier than a haunted forest. It's less creepy in the movies than in real life. However, the Hoya Baku Forest in Transylvania brings all these horrors to life. Typically, it's more like the Bermuda Triangle, with more trees and creepy silence. Most believe that it's home to the devil himself. The forest spans 250 hectares. Horrors about this forest began in 1960 when a photographer first saw a flying object hovering around. Then came the sudden disappearance of a shepherd and his 200 sheep. Then a little girl comes back five years later with the same clothes and hasn't aged at all. There have also been numerous first-hand accounts from those who entered the forest only to leave with burns, terrible rashes, headaches, and high fever. According to some research, the subsoil contains naturally occurring uranium, which produces radiation at a higher level than usual. Are you thinking what I'm thinking? All these coincidences kind of seem like a pattern that we can't ignore. The question is, what's actually happening in this haunted forest? Number 1. Abydos in Egypt There's always something captivating about ancient Egyptian history. Abydos is one of the oldest cities in ancient Egyptian history. Basically, it was considered to be the most sacred temple. The temple houses the tomb of Namr, the first dynasty's forefather, and served as the focal point of the Osiris cult. However, it was originally revered by the jackal-headed god Whippoet, who was unable to challenge the god of the underworld's growing authority. The Abydos dates back to the pre-dynastic period when it operated as a necropolis. It was a pilgrimage site for the worship of the god Osiris, and many thought it was the entrance to the underworld. Pious Egyptians made a pilgrimage to the Abydos because they wanted to be buried as close as possible to the well-known tomb of Osiris, which was there. Until next time, adios.